everybody, I'm Myla, I'm a type 1 diabetic, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about how to keep track, how I keep track of my numbers. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So what are the numbers and why do I have to keep track of them? Um, the numbers are, for me anyway, date, blood glucose, carb count, units of insulin, and time. Um, I do this around when I eat and then before I was on my pump at bedtime too um, because you have to take your nighttime insulin as well or whenever you take your long lasting insulin, uh, for me that was at night. Um, so I know I could probably do a lot less. But I am an overachiever and also a perfectionist, and those two things love to ruin my life. And this is one of the ways that they might be doing that. Um, although it is really useful to have, um, you know, this information written down. I know I have the attention span of a flea and the memory of one too. Um, <laughs> So okay, so this is my spreadsheet from before I used my pump, and you can kind of see here um, the dates are on one side, and then I've got blood, BG, which means blood glucose. Then I have my carbs, and then I have hum um, Humalog, Humalog time, Levomir, Levomir time. I just used Humalog and Levomir um, instead of writing out time every time to save a little bit of space. Um, and then I went on with lunch, blood glucose excuse me, blood glucose, carbs, hemolog, and time. And I just continued on like that um, for every time I needed to take insulin. Now the reason I did this is because I was taking Levomir twice a day because my blood sugars were being really wonky as you can kind of see here. Um, on the 18th, for example, I had a blood sugar of 278 when I first woke up. That's without eating anything the night before, really, uh, I think. Uh, no, I had a little snack, but I was really low. So it doesn't make sense that I would wake up with a super high blood sugar like that. Um, so my endocrinologist was like, that's not okay. Let's put you on some more Levomir. That's what we did. Um, so this is how I had my um, spreadsheet set up for when I didn't have a pump. I was just using injections and it was really, really helpful for me to do this. So, um, okay, so this spreadsheet is when I, this is after I got my pump. This is actually the first day I had my pump on, um, <laughs> on this first line here. So I shortened some things to, um, so it's, it's shorter, sort of. Um, <laughs> so what I mean by that is like, I don't have Love Amir and Humalog because when you're on a pump, you're only on Humalog or you're only on your like short acting um, insulin and that's because it's given to you consistently throughout the day um, here I just have B BG which stands for breakfast blood glucose B carbs which is breakfast carbs so on and so forth um, lunch blood glucose etc etc um, for dinner and then I also have some snacks just in case I needed something to eat um, and you can see like I was l going low a lot right at first just because I wasn't quite used to the pump yet um, so yeah, but you can you can also tell I had some pretty weird days. I think this day, um, the 13th of August, I was having like some issues with a uh, <laughs> with a like tubing kit. It's fine. It sorted itself out clearly. The next day I was completely fine. Um, but yeah, no, it's just interesting to see the difference between how I have the two set up. So hopefully that'll help be helpful for you guys. All right, going back to the video now. <laughs> okay, so I it might not be actually ruining my life. I just like to say that because it's funny. Um, it's actually probably super helpful that, um, you know, <laughs> I have a way to remind myself, hey, you ate within the past four hours. You cannot eat a, a large meal again because your insulin is still running through and you know, take a chill pill, you don't need to take more insulin, you've still got plenty on board, all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's what this spreadsheet does for me. So I use a spreadsheet, obviously, to keep track of all these things. Um, 
So I used to use my notes app and my phone, but that got really hectic and chaotic and really hard to like keep organized because I just kept one long note and I had to scroll to the bottom every time I ate and like enter what meal it was like and do all these different things. It was really frustrating. Um, and then, so before that, I was given a paper copy of a thing to use from my endocrinologist and I forgot it. I wouldn't carry it with me. Um, it just didn't like, I would go to class and realize, oh, it's, you know, on my desk in my dorm room, whoops. Um, so I would write it down in my notes app and then I was supposed to transfer it in to this piece of paper and then that didn't work. Um, so instead I was like, I'm just going to use a spreadsheet. That way I can save it on my phone. I can always access it if I have Wi-Fi, which nine times out of 10 I do. Um, and if I don't, I won't be eating because I don't have carb counts memorized for literally anything. Um, <laughs> so that's what I do. I, what I'll do for a meal, I'll get my food right at the dining hall. I'll get my food and I will, um, write down, you know, I'll find the right section of my spreadsheet. And I'll be like, all right, this is lunch. Great. My blood sugar is this. Um, I'll count the carbs for my meal. I'll put that in. I'll say, all right, um, carb count, whatever, how many grams. And then I'll type those numbers into my pump and it'll give me how much insulin it's going to give me. And I'll put that in and I'll put U for units of insulin. Um, <laughs> and then I'll put the time that the, it started giving me the insulin. So um, as soon as it says bolus initiated, I write down the time. Um, and that way I can just say, all right, in four hours I can eat again if I need to, you know, something like that. Um, um, what I really want to use some of this information for is, um, I, like I keep this so I can show my endocrinologist really kind of what's going on with me. And I can also then see for myself, oh, n this is how your period affects this. This is how situations where you're in high constant stress affect it. This is how all these other things, you know, maybe I have a head cold, you know, this is how that would affect you know, my blood sugars, all those sorts of things can affect your blood sugars. And so I want to be able to tell, um, once I am graduated from college happening this May, woohoo, um, I will be able to, um, really sit with my spreadsheet and make sure that, or I can like crunch the numbers and actually know what's going on because that's important to me. Um, I'm a very scientific bean and I really enjoy doing those types of things. Obviously, I'm a biology major. This is what we do in labs. Um, and I'm just using myself as like a pen cushion for this. It's great. Um, okay. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I know sometimes seeing what other people are doing can help you figure out what you need to do for some aspect of your health. So hopefully, maybe you can use a spreadsheet now. Or maybe, you know, if you think writing it down would be easier for you or anything like that. Um, if you have to record any kind of like thing for your health concern, let me know down in the comments. I'm genuinely curious how other people, you know, keep track of other stuff. I know a lot of times people who are trying to get pregnant will take their basal temperatures and they have to keep track of that somehow. Do you use an app? Like, what do you use? I'm curious. <laughs> um, so please let me know. Um, on a slightly different note, um, I'm not going to be uploading for the rest of this year. Um, I am on a break from school for now, thank goodness. I literally just finished my exams the week I'm filming this. Um, and I have a really busy January and spring terms coming up. So I would kind of like to be able to pre-record, not worry about a video coming out literally a few days after Christmas, um, just so I can enjoy my break <laughs> and work ahead a little bit so that I can get ahead of the workload coming at me in the new year. So, the next time you will be seeing my face in a video like this, it will be January 10th, 2021. Um, put it in your calendars if you feel like it. Um, I will be 22 and I'm excited listening to T-Swift all day long. Um, <laughs> um, so the video that I had planned will still be happening. It'll just be happening on January 10th instead of December 27th. Um, so I'm just taking, honestly, a really tiny break to like record some videos so that I don't get behind um, because I have a really cool internship this January 
And if that's super busy and hectic, I would like to um, not be stressed about this on top of that. This is something that makes me happy, but also I like to stress out a lot. Um, and if I have multiple things to stress out about that are kind of new and nerve wracking a little bit, I will. And yes, this is a little bit nerve wracking because I don't know what I'm doing yet. It's wonderful. <laughs> okay, so that's everything I wanted to say in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch, if you want to learn more about diabetes from a patient perspective, please subscribe below. Um, I will see you all in the new year. Happy holidays. Stay safe.